Hey, look, somebody asked me a question. I better answer it. Hey, it's Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com. Today I've got a fun question. This is from Adam. Adam wants to know if any company has ever produced, as in production level, I'm assuming, has ever produced a convertible pickup truck. So this is like a dream thing, right? A lot of people really want a convertible. Uh, and then a lot of people, they own one and they find out they hardly ever put the top down. Uh, it's, just, it, it's, a, it's a funny thing, though, because we equate convertibles with awesome. If, with pickup trucks, they're a little bit difficult because you have a lot of uh, vehicle dynamics going on in terms of the engineering required to keep the truck from twisting on itself or uh, uh, to provide the, uh, the correct amount of safety for, for in a rollover, things like that. But despite those challenges, there have been convertible pickup trucks made. Um, back in the 1980s, Dodge did a convertible version of the Dakota pickup truck. It was a small pickup truck. Um, it was a, a, I mean, it wasn't a bad truck and there, the convertible version was, uh, labeled as a Mopar conversion, uh, but it was a factory drop top pickup truck. Um, it was, it didn't sell terribly well, but you still find them. You'll see them at car shows. You'll see them other places. Not too long after that, in the, uh, in the early 2000s, Chevrolet brought out the SSR. This was a weird kind of El Camino looking, um, modernized El Camino looking car. So it was like a two seat car with a pickup truck bed on the back. Uh, it didn't sell well at all. Uh, by all accounts, it was horrible. I'd never seen or driven one. Like I said, they didn't sell well. There aren't a whole lot of them to be found. Uh, but they, they were there. They were made. Um, for most of its history, the Jeep pickup trucks, depending on the model and the time frame you're looking at, had some sort of roof removal option. So uh, the Gladiator that's being made right now, that has a removable roof. No matter what version you get, the roof can come off of it. Uh, so it's it's very in design. It's very similar to the Jeep Wrangler uh, with the removable roof. So you can get you can get a soft top, hard top, whatever. You can also get the the kind of T top, but there's no T. You can get the removable front panels, all of that. But the roof can come all the way off of that truck. Far as I know, that is the only current production truck in North America that has a, a removable roof that is a convertible. Uh, there are plenty of aftermarket people who will cut your roof off for you, uh, but I don't necessarily recommend that because if the rest of the engineering isn't in place, it's probably not going to work out well over the long term. But yes, there have been, Adam, there have been some convertible trucks made. Um, like I said, they usually do not sell very well. I do expect the Gladiator to be an exception, but that's because it's as much Jeep with the Wrangler and everything as it is pickup truck. So there you go. Uh, hopefully the pictures you've been seeing up here have, have enlightened you as to what some of those models looked like. So if you have a question and you want me to answer it, you can hit me up. Send a message down below. Hit me up at Aaron on Autos across the top there. Hit subscribe while you're at it. Getting it. Hit subscribe. Do it right now. I'll wait. And then the little bell thing, you should hit that too, so that whenever I upload one of these videos, you get to see it. Uh, yeah, you can find me on Facebook, Quora, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Tag me if you do hit me up on social media. Um, otherwise, however you find me, if you have a question, I'll answer it. So this has been Aaron, AaronOnAutos.com. Talk to you again soon. Subscribe.